Hey brothers and sisters, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day today. I want to greet our name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos, and leave in the comments if you have any questions or concerns. So, today was a pretty interesting day and very productive day. I was, I was getting things done. Also, I ran some wrestling practice today, and also... I got a cramp, <laughs> but other than that, I'm I'm doing okay. Just like just wanted to let y'all know, and I'll admit I did have a good day, a uh, productive day today. I'll admit, and uh, I made this video to talk about singleness, and uh, I prayed to God. I spoke to God about it, and I prayed what video He wanted me to do, and what popped into my mind was singleness. See, goodness is a very interesting topic, topic because the thing is that for some reason, people are very scared of being single. They're very scared of being single. They're, they're scared of being alone out here because it's either because of peer pressure or family all around them, around them getting married, or they're or there's other there's kids in high school who are getting getting into relationships while the 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 person who's who's building up their life ain't ain't getting into a relationship. But if it, if a relationship is not is not in their priority list, then then it should really bother them. But I'm not saying that that person doesn't feel alone sometimes, and I'm not saying that person does not desire a relationship. You may be you may be feeling like you're missing out if you're single. Well, and if you're a believer watching this, then hear me out. You know, I don't. I'll be honest with y'all. I don't really get this romance stuff. I don't get this dating stuff. It, it, it's it's just not. It's, it isn't really for me, to be honest with y'all. That's that's what I think, and I guess, guess I don't really, and honestly, I I generally don't know, don't really know what to, what to do, to be honest with y'all. And I know a relationship requires communication, requires strong boundaries, and requires trust, and also, it requires you, requires you to be responsible because, when you have another human being in your life, on your journey. You realize it. You realizing she's gonna she gonna become your responsibility, brothers. If you marry her, and I know, be a relationship takes a lot of responsibility. That's the things I know. But unfortunately, the world today is more worried about the romance phase, the feeling phase, the breakup phase. Like this world's freaking backwards, bro. And uh, maybe I should tr try to learn about romance. Maybe. I don't know. But in the meantime, I'm okay with being single. And you're probably, and you're wondering, but Warren, why are you okay with being single? Don't you want a girlfriend? Don't you want a wife? Don't you want to get married one day? Don't you want to have, have a family? I mean, yeah, I do want to get married. I do want I do want someone by my side. May, maybe I do want I I don't want a girlfriend right now. I don't really I don't really have the resources or resources needed to to get to have a girlfriend. But but to be honest with y'all, I'm not I'm not really looking for that right now. And my actions and my actions will even show I'm not looking for anything romantic. And I'm the thing is my priorities is God, my mission, my purpose, and building the kingdom of God and building this this channel, building this community, and trying and trying to be a better man of God. Those are my priorities. Serving serving my community is my priority, but. Relationships, um, God is up here, but relationships, romance, 
it, it's like down, it's like down here, like, <laughs> down here, I mean, I'm a, I'm a man, what you, what you just bet? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying, I'm trying, I'm not trying to worry about another human being at the moment. I'm really not. I don't have the energy, I don't have the time for it. And I know it's not as hard, but it's the truth. And I'm not saying, I'm not perfect or anything. I'll admit, it does get lonely sometimes. And there's, and there's days I feel like I'm missing out on something. There's days I feel like... I I do I wish I was in a relationship. There are days I feel like that, and there are days I feel guilty, of of why I did to certain girls in the past, past. Uh, it's, it, there's times I feel guilty of fumbling, fumbling that one one girl. And that and FYI, for FYI, if you've been watching my videos, that's been recent. I may feel guilty about that. But even though those those type of thoughts are going through my mind, I have I still have peace. And I'm still good and in my heart, I'm content with being single. You know why? Because I have Jesus with me. Because the thing the thing about relationships is that many many people when they get into relationships, they're looking for, they're looking for love. They're looking for validation. They're looking for, for they 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 want to feel needed. They want to feel wanted. I know, I know, I I feel that way. This I do. There's times I'm wanted and I I want to feel needed, feel validated. But the thing is that you're looking at the but brothers sisters, you're looking at the wrong place. You can't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what how great this this woman is. It doesn't matter if this woman is a Christian woman. It doesn't matter if if she's a dance cab. It does. It doesn't matter what, if she does that yada yada yada. It doesn't matter if she's beautiful. It doesn't matter how nice she is. You can't expect another human being to give you give you the love you're craving, to give you the love you're missing, to fill that void in your heart. And. If you if you if you're just getting a relationship because you feel alone, then you got a lot of work to do, my friend. You look you're looking at, you're looking the wrong places. And y'all need to and to those who don't know Jesus, y'all need y'all need to look to Jesus, who is a true example of love, the one who gave his life for for humanity, became the sacrificial lamb for all of us, so that we want to perish by eternal life in heaven. And not only that, so that we can make an impact on earth with with him by our side. And that we could live a life of purpose, meaning, meaning and fulfillment. The truth is only Jesus can fulfill us. Only Jesus give can, can make us feel needed and wanted and validated. Only Jesus can feel feel that love, feel that void in our hearts. And the thing is that being being single is not easy and people and people think singleness is bad but if you but if you think singleness is bad guess what marriage is probably is is just a, as bad as singleness i'm not condemning those two two institutions or anything but singleness is just as challenging as marriage it is just as challenging as marriage both both singleness and marriage have their challenges. They singleness have the challenge of being alone, missing out. Marriage is having the challenge of dealing with issues within the marriage, dealing with financial issues, dealing with house issues, dealing with children, dealing with spiritual warfare. Those those are the challenges of marriage. And the challenge of singleness, peer pressure. Like what's so different about the two? Truth is, you have to be okay with being single. If you're not feel, if you if you feel alone, 
then you need to spend time with the most high first of all and also you need you need to be doing something with your life brother and sisters you need to be doing something in your life and spending time with god you can, like me for example i'm okay with being single you know why because again i got jesus by my side and i'm doing something something with my life I'm trying to build this YouTube, YouTube channel. I'm trying to build this ministry, his his ministry. So a ministry that will glorify God and that will help brothers, brothers become soldiers for God and sisters too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Seagullness is not easy, but remember, as a believer, you got Jesus by your side. You got a friend that's that's this closer than a brother. And no, there's no one in this in this world outside of this world that's as closer than Jesus Christ. He's the one that's as close to the brother. Because next time you try to put your relationship first before your purpose, before God, ask yourself this: Was this person there when you were struggling? Was this person there when you struggled with this sin? Or was this person there when you? You were going through this and that, going through your, your own trials and tribulation. And remember, she's a human being too. Anyway, that's that's just me being honest with y'all. And uh, I'm okay with being single. And there's times I may make I may make make mistakes when it comes to relationships. But what matters is, is that I embrace the lesson and embrace what I learned and just keep it moving. Anyway, that's all I got. Remember, having a personal relationship with Jesus is key to being content with, content with being single. And also, do something in your life also. That's all I got. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And until then, don't be religious. Follow Christ.